Oh, Mama, that pile is here again. Enter Daddy's little demon baby, Snook. Today, after two flat tires and plenty of engine trouble, we find Daddy Hanley Stafford and baby Snooks at the end of a 90-mile drive to their new beach home. Daddy Snooks didn't feel too good when he started, so you can imagine how he feels now. Listen. <laughs> What is it? Why are you stopping? Because we finally arrived at our beach house, thank heaven. Are you glad? I don't say I am. Then why did you tell Mama you didn't like it? Never mind. Get out and look at the ocean. Is this the mountain, Daddy? No, this is the seashore. We're going to spend the summer here. Where? Right here, by the sea. Well, there's a mountain. There aren't any mountains here, just the sand and the ocean. But you told Mama we'd be going to the mountain. I know I did. Then why did we come here? Because, because this is better than the mountains. Why? Because the sea air is much more health-giving, the salt water bathing is better, the sun is stronger, and it's a much nicer place to spend the summer. Now, do you know why we came here? Uh-huh. Because Mommy didn't like the mountains. And that's nothing to do with it. But we'll go to the mountains next year, all right. <laughs> What are you laughing at? That's what you said last year. Oh, keep quiet. Why, the seashore is fine. It's magnificent. Hmm. Look at those white caps on the ocean. Uh Uh-huh. Break, break, break. On thy cold gray stone, O sea. Roll on, on, thou mighty ocean. Roll. Oh, Uh, look at Daddy. What? It's doing what you said. Well, what about it? Now make a roll back. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go in the house and look the place over. Did you buy the place, Daddy? No, we're just renting it for three months. And that's too long. I hope the furniture's halfway decent. Daddy? Yes? Why don't Mommy like the mountains? Because she wants to go to the seashore. Why? She has to come here for her asthma. Did she leave it here? <laughs> no, she claims it makes her feel better. How do you like this broken down house? Oh, I like it. Now you would. You're getting more like your mother every day. How'd you get upstairs, Daddy? This is a bungalow. There isn't any upstairs. Now where am I going to sleep? Downstairs. Down what stairs? Down no stairs. There aren't any stairs. He said I'm going to sleep downstairs. I know I did, but in this case, downstairs means right here. You're going to sleep on this floor. Ah! What's the matter? I don't want to sleep on the floor. Oh, stop that. You'll sleep in a bed, only everything is on this one floor. Ah. Molly. Now what do you want? Where's the bed? That thing right there in the corner. Well, that don't look like a bed. I know it doesn't, but it is just the same. It's a day bed. Huh? It's a day bed. Well, where do I sleep at night? Right there. A day bed is only for sleeping in the nighttime. Isn't my bed for sleeping in the daytime? No. Well, why do they call out a day bed? Because a day bed's a sofa that's made up at night as a bed, and during the day it's a couch which nobody sleeps on, so a day bed is really a night bed, only it's not a bed at all. Do you feel all right, Daddy? No, I feel terrible. And don't bother me with any more questions. I've got to check the inventory. What's that? Well, the woman who owns the house made a list of all the things in it. I want to be sure they're here. Come on, look around, Daddy. Well, go ahead. But don't break anything. I won't. Well, let's see this list. I guess this is the living room, such as it is. Well, where's the linen? Daddy! Now, what's happened? Is Uncle Louie on that list? No, of course not. Well, he's in that room. Now, what are you talking about? Where's Uncle Louie? There he is. He's looking through a hole in the wall. Oh, that's not Uncle Louie. That's a moose head. Oh. If there's one thing I hate, it's a moose head. Why? Because I'm allergic to moose hairs. They give me hay fever. What's hay fever? It's an illness. It has nothing to do with hay, and it doesn't cause a fever. And don't ask me if I feel all right. Well, let's take him down. Let's take who down? Uncle Louis. I told you that's a moose. 
What's a moose? It's a big lumbering thing with antlers and a fat nose like a hog and a shapeless body like a cow. Is that Uncle Louie? No, that's Aunt Sophie. <laughs> it's nothing of the kind. Now, come on out of here while I check this stuff in the living room. All right, Daddy. Hmm, she's got marked on this list two dozen Wedgwood cups and saucers. Ten dollars apiece. Wonder where they are. Is this them, Daddy? Now, Snooks, stop climbing on that shelf. I want to count the cups and saucers. Now, be careful. That's very expensive china. Whee! Stop rocking on that china closet. Snooks! Look out for that Wedgwood! Good heavens. You've smashed the whole thing to pieces. Yeah. $480 worth of china. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful mess. You like it, Daddy? <laughs> How can I ever pay for all that stuff? Oh, $480. What will I do? I know. Let's go to the market. <laughs> Danny, that was swell. 